We've seen attempts to produce turbine-powered cars on motorcycles, but the idea never prevailed. But there was a different purpose of a turbine used in the automobile business, propelling the differential directly. The company called Turbonic was founded in 1962 by Gene Middlebrooks, who worked as an aerospace contractor for Martin Marietta. His goal was to sell very compact, low-cost gas turbines meant for short-time high-power outputs. The firm sold products like conventional turbochargers, microturbines ranging from 40 to 1000 horsepower at a weight of 55 kilograms, or a so-called drag axle. The drag axle means that there was a tiny turbine engine mounted on the rear solid axle. With a single push of a button, it was able to add 1300 horsepower to the rear wheels. The idea had an extremely narrow use and was basically good for drag strips only. There was a 1955 Beetle equipped with it and managed to run a quarter mile in 9.36 seconds at 168 miles per hour in 1965. Unlike a regular turbine engine, this device used a different fuel. While normally there is air forced into the turbine by a compressor, which then reacts with the injected fuel and ignites together, this motor runs on a propyl nitrate in Turbonic's product lineup known as Thermoline. Being a monopropellant, its advantage was that it was able to ignite without presence of atmospheric oxygen, as it has plenty of it in itself. Instead of a compressor sucking air inside, there was a tank to store this milk to straw colored liquid, with a relatively low flash point of 22 degrees of Celsius. When the thermoline is injected into the combustion chamber at a pressure of 600 psi, its result was an intense hot gases release which spun the turbine. There were anti-swirl turbine wheel vanes preventing flames from exiting the tailpipe, but there was an optional special wheel for spectacular flames. Some years ago there was a 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 at an auction. The car was instead of an original 390 cubic inch V8 equipped with a 427 big block using four side rough carburetors, actual flow supercharger, and an 850 horsepower rocket drag axle by Turbonic. Because of such power, the whole car had to be modified, a frame and suspension was reinforced, there was a parachute installed, and the ride height was raised because of the flame shot out of the turbine housing. This was the noise such turbine engines produced. 